Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. I'm Simon, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Philips Hue Play Bar. So I bought one of these Play Bars recently, and I must admit, I'm always very, very impressed with the Philips Hue range of products. They are well built, and they really, really do what they say they do. And yes, they may be pretty expensive, but they last a very, very long time according to reviews, and the quality of them is just amazing. So let's have a look at this Play Light Bar from Philips Hue. So I got the single pack. You can get a single or a double pack, um, and it comes along with this little kit. So you get the light itself, you get the um, the power pack. Now the beauty about this power pack is that it has three plugs here. So you can actually install or plug in and power three of these Hue Play Bars with one power supply. So that's really good when you're wanting to save on plugs in your wall. It also comes with this mounting kit. Currently I'm not using the mounting kit. Um, I find it works really well just to place it up either behind my television or behind a cupboard or I can even use it for lighting on my face when I'm doing my videos. So it's a really, really effective multi-use product. The colors are amazing. The, the level of density of the LEDs inside here gives you an absolutely clear view. It doesn't look, you don't have any spots of LEDs or anything like that. It works really, really well. So I ordered one of these recently, installed it, and I linked it up to Home Assistant. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to link up to Home Assistant. I'm running it with one of my Zigbee sticks, and that is working incredibly well for me, um, the, the Sonoff Zigbee stick. So let me show you how it works. So in order to integrate it into my Home Assistant, I just go down to Settings and Device and Services, come down here to my Zigbee devices and add a device. What we do now is we plug the Hue light bar in and you'll see that it pops up there, starting to interview immediately, configuring, initializing. We will select an area. I'm gonna put this one in the bedroom and that is how easy it is to connect this device up to your home assistant. All right, so let us go and have a look at this device that we've now brought in. So we go down here, and there is our Philips Hue. All right, so it's brought it in here. As you see, we can select the light, so we can obviously select our brightness, our color temperature, and also we could select colors. So we can select anything from the colors here. It's really, really bright. And the colors seem to be very true as well. So really impressed with that. Okay. Now, the beauty about uh, Philips Hue with the standard um, ZHA uh, integration is that you can actually select a startup behavior. So you can either, if the power, for example, fails overnight and it comes back on, the last thing you want is all your lights switching on in the middle of the night. So you can actually select here a startup behavior of off so that that won't happen or you can select it to come on as an on, or you can toggle it on or off, or to the previous value of what it was before. You can then actually set up here a color temperature and a level of brightness. Uh, it's also got the identify, which you click that, it will start flashing the light. So you can actually see what's going on there. Uh, so you can find out which light you're actually dealing with. So this is how easy it is to bring into Home Assistant and how easy it is to control in Home Assistant. Now the last...